All right, I admit it, I was addicted to my phone. I denied it at the time, but looking back on my behavior, it's pretty obvious. I remember I'd start panicking if I didn't know the exact location of my phone. It was like I had lost another limb or something. I'd be mindlessly scrolling through Instagram, close the app, and then immediately open it up again. I literally couldn't start eating a meal without having my phone propped up with some sort of video play. I'd pick up my phone for no reason, even if there were no notifications. I'd just kind of like swipe around, clicking on random apps, waiting for something interesting to pop up, a new Instagram post, YouTube video, anything to feed my addiction. My phone was probably the first thing I looked at when I woke up and the last thing I looked at before I went to sleep. It's kind of sad now that I think about it. This addiction was secretly ruining my life, and if any of those scenarios sound familiar to you, it might be ruining yours too. In this video, I'll get into why your phone addiction is possibly the most detrimental thing to your productivity, goals, and life as a whole, and a few of the tactics that I've implemented to ensure that my phone no longer has control over me, but instead I have control over my phone. I truly think that this alone was one of the main reasons I've been able to post videos consistently and grow my YouTube channel, make time for family, friends, and optimizing my health, all while still getting high performance ratings and promotions at my day job. So if you clicked on this video, you might have the general sense that you use your phone too much, but that alone obviously isn't enough to make you quit. So the first step is to understand and admit that there is a problem. You might not classify yourself as being addicted to your phone in this case. I guess addiction is kind of a strong word that's usually associated with being addicted to drugs or alcohol or something. But if you clicked on this video and you're watching right now, then you know deep down that there's some kind of problem with the current way that you use your phone. But in order for us to actually make a change and override our current habits, we need a strong enough reason. We need a deeper understanding of the problem that goes beyond just the fact that we're wasting time on our phone or that social media is bad or that it's you know not good to be so lazy. Once I understood the true dangers of being addicted to our phone and social media, it kind of woke me up and made me take the whole thing more seriously and actually make real changes to my current habits. So I'm not gonna bore you and try and give you some full scientific historical explanation that that's not really what you come to my channel for, but I will give you my perspective and real world firsthand experience on this whole issue. My understanding is that our brains still haven't really evolved that much from the early hunter gatherer days long before phones and social media. And so we still chase pleasure and reward in the same way. The main difference is that back then the sources of reward and pleasure were genuine and actually benefited our lives as a species. For example, back then we might chase social connection because positive bonding between people was good for the tribe, or we might find pleasure from just exploring the world because it meant that we might find new resources. Or we'd see a wild animal and get excited because it meant we could hunt it and feed ourselves and our family. Nowadays, our phones essentially hijack those same primal mechanisms, except nowadays the excitement and stimulation we chase no longer provides real benefits to our lives. It's not necessarily our smartphones themselves that are the problem, but more so that our phones are the main source of instant gratification and overstimulation in most people's lives. When you go on your phone and scroll through super stimulating social media apps, play games, bid on sports, or get bombarded with likes and notifications, your brain gets so much instant artificial pleasure that it just kind of numbs your brain and you no longer enjoy the real activities that our species was designed to chase after. Now, we obviously don't need to hunt for food or explore to find new resources or shelter or something anymore, but this can still have a huge negative effect on our modern lives. So for example, my sister was just telling me about this recent trip she took to Australia with someone she met in school and they went to all these beautiful places in the country, oceans, beaches, mountains, cities, you name it. They saw all this cool stuff, wildlife, everything. She put a whole video on her YouTube channel. So if you're interested, you can go check that out. I watched it and I was like, oh my God, like I need to go to Australia now. But basically the person she went with was so addicted to her phone, social media, TikTok, instant gratification, all that that she would rather just sit in the hotel and scroll through TikTok than to experience the amazing country that they traveled like 12 hours to get to. And when she was first telling us about how this girl just like didn't wanna do anything despite them being in this beautiful country, my parents at first were like, well, maybe she just, you know, has traveled a bunch already, so it's not really that interesting to her. Or maybe she sees vacations more as just like a time to lounge around rather than to go sightseeing and explore new places. And I guess that could be possible. But then once my sister informed us that this girl spent all her time on the trip just on her phone scrolling through TikTok, it was pretty obvious to me why she didn't want to, you know, go see the nice places in Australia. When you're addicted to your phone and social media, it makes everything else in life just seem dull and uninteresting, especially the things that normally should be enjoyable, like being outside, reading books, spending quality time with family, having conversations, going for walks, traveling, exploring new places, etc. And it's not because these activities aren't exciting or rewarding enough, but because our baseline standard for stimulation 
situation is so out of whack that we just don't enjoy regular life as much. That already sounds pretty bad, I know, and that might be enough to make you want to, you know, stop using your phone so much, but it can get even worse than that. On top of that, since our brain gets so much instant pleasure from just like tapping on our phone screen, we won't feel motivated to do anything that's remotely difficult, like growing a side hustle or side business, because our brain is so used to being rewarded for basically zero effort. By the way, if you're looking to start a side hustle or do something more fulfilling outside of your normal day job, but you're having difficulty with motivation and simply getting the work done, this is one of the things that I help people overcome and have found that overstimulation and phone addiction is often one of the causes. You can apply for a free 30 minute call with me where I'll basically just ask you a bunch of questions, get to know you and your personal situation better so that we can come up with some potential solutions. If you're interested, go click the link in the description right now, quickly fill out the form and come back to the video. Back when I was super addicted to my phone, I imagine that if I took away the overstimulation from my phone and social media, I would have been pretty bored and unhappy with my life. These days, people normally run away from that unhappiness and dissatisfaction by filling their lives with more instant gratification. But I think these negative feelings are natural and honestly would have been good to a certain extent because it would have motivated me to get up and actually do something with my life. When you're addicted to your phone, you artificially satisfy this desire to fulfill your potential and do more with your life and it just keeps you living a mediocre life on autopilot. Now that I've pretty much cured my phone addiction, I find that simply living life is fun. I enjoy just cooking my lunch and sitting outside in the sun while I eat. I enjoy reading, talking with my family, waking up and going to sleep at the same time every day. I don't feel the need to fill my life with extra stimulation to make it more enjoyable. Once I removed a lot of that overstimulation, I found that the activities that my brain desired most of the time were things that were actually good for me and beneficial to my life. It made it so that I could actually trust my brain. I've been able to lower my baseline stimulation so that the most sort of exciting thing I do is actually to just do my important work or my healthy habits like going to the gym and stuff. I sometimes almost find myself having trouble going to sleep because I'm so excited to to just wake up the next day, get to work and live my life. It's like every night feels like Christmas Eve when I was a kid. So how do we actually fix this? Well, it's pretty simple. We basically do fewer high stimulation, instant gratification activities like scrolling on social media on our phone and gradually replace them with lower stimulation activities that are healthy and actually benefit our lives. For a lot of people, the biggest source of instant gratification and overstimulation comes from using your phone. So you can do your best to reduce your screen time, stop using social media, doom scrolling, that kind of stuff. Find some lower stimulation alternatives alternatives that you can do instead of scrolling on your phone. So this can be like reading a book, exercise, go for a walk, meditation, breath work, have a conversation with your friends and family, start a side hustle. At this point, anything that feels boring or like it's too much work is probably something that would be good for you to do a little more of. I've honestly had to turn my brain off a little bit because it would always make excuses telling me that, you know, it was okay to be on my phone. I deserve to relax or that it wasn't that bad. But my brain is what got me addicted to using my phone in the first place. Overstimulation is something that I found that I really have to periodically focus on reducing. It's not like there's some one-time short detox that will permanently fix all these issues. It involves a more long-term lifestyle change. And if I'm not careful, it can easily start to creep back up in my lifestyle style and dismantle my motivation and trajectory in life. Click that subscribe button right now. As always, do something today that your future self would thank you for.